Okay. Are there, um, is this a problem that's unique to New Jersey? I know we are the most densely populated state in the nation, but are there, um, I think I, I looked at the issue once in, uh, yeah, in California, I don't know if they were consolidating towns or counties, but um, is this a trend that we're seeing nationwide? Or? Everybody has a very different setup. Some are more county government. Uh, per population, I think that uh, we're not too much out of the realm, but certainly the 566 uh, municipalities is, is yeah. something that is right here in New Jersey, uh, and the structure doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have counties with many, many municipalities. It's even hard for them to interface. Right. Um, and you have a lot of county executives talking about that as well, that we need to consolidate the towns. Yeah. It's just too much. The burden is, is, is too great. And if you look at economically what businesses are doing, what nonprofits are doing, pretty much everybody is restructuring yeah. in order to meet the needs of, of the economy at this time. Everybody's having to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We need to do it in government. Right. And we also have, I guess, over 600 school districts, which is a whole separate issue. That's a whole issue. separate, separate issue. issue. But a lot of the same problems and, you know, probably, you know, efficiencies that might be realized if, you know, there were less of them. And you can only work with what you know, and this is one step. There's many, many steps, and we don't really know uh, what step is going to lead to the next step because we really have to live through this problem. But New Jersey's stuck, and we need to move. Yeah. And I... They talk about getting the stick out. They talk about reducing municipal aid, which is going to come whether it's an incentive to consolidate or not. And I don't believe we should bring a stick out to the people. I believe we should reach out to them and try to educate them about this issue and get them on board. Because that's what will make this, you know, a very successful uh, yeah. adventure. Okay. You talked earlier about some legislation that had been enacted that you thought was helpful. Like what, what sort of things have been done? I know there's been incentives on the state level. To In 2006, they had four uh, special legislative sessions, and one of them was right, on right, consolidation. Those, yeah. And because of that, we have a 2007 Municipal Consolidation Act, which actually in there is a sample ballot for the people. In there is that if you have 10% of the year before, uh, the total of the election the year before, you can actually get it on the referendum. So it gives a lot of power to the yeah. people. And and that's another thing. They don't know that it's there. Mm -hmm. There has to be a mechanism where you go out there and say, you have power in this. You have say in this. But it also, it's, it's, it's wonderful legislation to move this issue forward. It, it removes a lot of the barriers. A lot has been learned in the last 10 years. A lot about planning boards, how you integrate them. Um, and the legislation is, is, is really great. Yeah. It opens up uh, for us to be able to do this. And, and that's what needs to be communicated, I think, to the public. Yeah. Um, what's essential with the Wantage Sussex on their internet, they had a 200, excuse me, a 202-page document oh. that talked about how this would all be integrated. But who's going to really read that document? Right. The idea is that you need to just talk to the public where where they can understand it. Yeah, which I think is, you know, what you're doing right now. So that's the missing yeah. piece, and I think it's essential for moving this issue forward, yeah. so that we can all collaborate together. Yeah. Let me ask you um, one of the other, you know, negatives about having so many different municipal government, school boards, which I know is a separate issue. Um, it's been raised from time to time, you know, the issue of corruption, you know, and we have, we're a state that's known as, you know, being a corrupt state, whether we're the most corrupt in the nation or not, you can argue back and forth, but um, I've, I've read articles or books where they suggest that, you know, we have so many different uh, level, you know, levels of government, elected officials, it just provides more opportunity for corruption. So is that part of the equation, too, from what you see? I don't know, but we have the Tea Partiers out there that want less government, right. and this obviously reduces this government. Is, yeah. And that's, I think, is, is essential for reducing what you're just talking about. Right. There's less people. Uh, as I like to say, uh, less government is, is better. Yeah. So. Okay, well, we're um, nearing the end of our time, but um, what's um, next on your plate? Is there anything specific you're working on, uh, any you know, communities that you're working directly with at this point? Or? I'm not, I really want to really try to stay with the grassroots and stay with the people and, and, and talk to the people. Sometimes it's really good to also talk about this issue when it's not an emotional issue, mm -hmm. when it's not on the ballot. Yeah. But I am, I am and would like to work with, with different organizations that are out there. Uh, there's one in Morris County, uh, there's, there's the Chester Barrow and Chester Township that's looking at at it. So there's a lot of opportunity to to work on this issue with others. Okay. Well, that's great. And if people want to get involved, they can check out your website. I'm sure there's ways to contact you. Absolutely. That, that would be wonderful. Okay. 
Well, Gina, thanks for um, joining us here today, the Hall Institute Public Forum. It's been um, interesting talking with you, and hopefully the folks out there learned a lot about this issue, and maybe it was contributed you know, in part to the um, education that you're trying to do out there about municipal consolidation and cost savings. Thank you, Richard. Okay. Uh, this is Rich Lee at the Hall Institute of Public Policy. You've been watching um, the Hall Institute Public Forum. We've been speaking with uh, Gina Genovese about uh, Courage to Connect New Jersey. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, we don't have a show next week. We're going to skip a Thursday, but two weeks from now, we'll be back with Holly Gilroy from the Women's Political Caucus in New Jersey. It's Women's History Month, so we're going to be talking about um, some of the historical achievements of women in New Jersey and also some of the current things that are going on with, with women in leadership positions. We have you know, quite a few women in, um, in leadership positions, uh, kind of a, something new for New Jersey. So that will be two weeks from today on March the 4th, same time. 10.30. Uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.